Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Good morning or good evening, wherever you guys are. I hope you guys have a, a nice big cup of coffee or a tea. I know I have mine because this is going to be an extensive reading for you because it's going to involve your love, your career and finance, and your health and wellness. And uh, this is going to be for mid-October. I want to uh, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I want to thank all of my members. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. And I have uh, put up a lot of new content up there for you guys is available right now in the member section um, and if you guys would like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram or you'd like a personal read with me all my information is in the description box below and let's also remember these are general messages they're not going to resonate with everyone you can check your moon your rising or your Venus sign energy so let's jump right in stick with me till the end let's jump right in all right so what is going on with my Sagittarius's love life for mid-October? What's going on with my Sagittarius's love life for mid-October? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right, let's see here. All right, let's also take a look at your clarifier. What's going on with my Sagittarius's romantic love life for mid-October? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Let's first of all, let's see what's on the overall at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we have the Empress card energy. So we see that there is a sense of love, a sense of abundance. Okay, that's good. A creative energy. Remember that also the Empress can represent fertility too for some of you, okay? So that's the overall energy. Now let's see what's going on with the current situation. So it looks like you're being patient here. You're being a patient here uh, because of something to do with a decision here with the Scythe card energy. Because the Scythe has representing some kind of abrupt decision, okay? Something that needs to be cut away or cut out. So there's pain patience around this decision or something to do with this decision because something needs to be uh, an equal give and take. So somebody wants something cut away or cut out because something is not an equal give and take and someone's being patient about that. Because there's a sense of um, needing some kind of completion here. And it seems like things are kind of going slow low here right now okay so uh, what's the blockage delay or challenge it's heartache here so there is this heartache so the blockage delay and challenges because someone is having a lot of heartache they're still uh, focusing on healing and recovery so I have a sense that you know uh, when I look at this tree I see that the tree like for me is like okay someone was left out in the cold or someone had a sense of loss here but now you know the tree is thawing it's not completely thawed yet though okay so there's still some healing and recovery that needs to happen here and uh, there is this sense of a confusion around things right I feel like there's a sense of confusion around things because somebody's not sure what they want um, and this is causing a lot of heartache here which is part of the blockage delay and challenge so at the foundation, that's what I thought. There's an indecision here. There's an indecision here to a sword's energy. And um, yeah, it's like, it's because of, it could be because of the influence of family or friends, okay? It's almost like somebody just wants to walk away from the whole thing, right? Uh, they, that's what I have a sense of. They just want to walk away the whole thing because this indecision, because of this uncertainty about things. It's almost like a blind decision or compromise that has to be made here. And we see the garden card energy, which can represent family or friends or more than one choice or option. So there's some indecisions here. Okay, so in the past, it looks like you were isolating yourself and separating yourself to do some deep, heavy soul searching here when it came to this romance here with the moon card energy. Um, you felt like that was important to you. And this was a bit of a challenge or change for you in the situation. That's what I have a sense of here. And I also have a sense that there was a there was a twin flame soulmate connection here at the head of the matter or there's a twin flame soulmate connection but there's some arguments and disputes or hurt or pain about it um there's a choice that needs to be made here i can see that because there's two two energies which is to do with some kind of challenge or change around the situation there's some indecisions happening here so a lot about choices here pertaining to a twin flame soulmate connection there's cause as a causing a lot of heartache here uh when it comes to this romance and it's like there's been a lot of deep heavy soul searching around the situation 
in the near future, we see that the, wow, that's a good card. That's the uh, page of cups energy. So there's a new path in love for you coming up in the near future, but there's still the sense of confusion about it. Okay, so it looks like in the near future, there's this new path in love, but there's still this, this confusion about this romance. And it's, and it's because of healing, recovery, and love, and something that, uh, to do with changes or challenge around that because of this choice. And we see this twin flame soulmate connection. You've, you've done some deep, heavy soul searching about this, and it's, it's like you're at a crossroads when it comes to this new path in love. There's been some hurt and pain when it comes to this romance because of influence of other people, possibly, or because of choices here. Uh, and there's a sense of confusion about choices, which is causing this this cloudedness in the whole situation. And um, I feel like uh, there is this sense that, you know, you wanna be wise in your decision makings here around the situation when it comes to your passions, right? So we see that this new path in love is coming up. I'm just gonna clarify why the clouds card is here with this new path in love. What's this about? What is this clouds card energy about? What is this clouds card energy about? Show me how to see. Show me the cards you need. Two, three. Okay, so it, it's a sense that you feel like they're not being honest uh, about something that is not an equal give and take uh, because of this flirty energy, something to do with a flirt. Maybe you feel like this person's a bit of a flirt or maybe you just are being patient because you feel like something is not completely straightforward here about this potential passion or romantic gestures, right? You're almost like, all right, this is too good to be true. What's going on here? What's what's happening here? There's got to be something more to this, something deeper to this because of something that needs to end to start anew or something to do with ending or completing something uh, pertaining to arguments and disputes. So you're a bit like, uh, I don't know. I know you want to take a new path in love, but I'm, I'm not certain. Okay, I'm not certain about things. Let's see what's going on with the influence. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. This is a self-focused card. Remember, here's the peacock energy, right? Strutting around like a peacock energy, right? That's the, the there's the, like a self-focused card going on, an attractive kind of energy there because the peacock is there. Um, and we see there's news or messages. So the influences, there's news or messages if somebody's like, you know what, I'm single and available, or there, uh, there's news or messages about them being a bit self-focused here because we, we remember this is news, news that you're hearing, right? Uh, a sense of this opportunity, a want to fulfill wishes because we see the nine cart energy there in the influence category. And we see that this news about confusion pertaining to romance and this new path in love, okay. That's the influence. So let's see potentially what this outcome is here. Uh, before that though, I want to um, take a look at your advice here. And remember when I suggest advice, um, you have free will, okay? So you don't have to take this advice if you want to. This is purely guidance, okay? I'm only here for guidance, that's it. You guys have the, the control here. Okay, so the death card energy is telling me something needs to end, stop, or complete here. Okay, so your advice is to end, stop, or complete something. So I wanna get a little bit more information considering that card. All right. So end, stop, or complete, something to do with um, messages, news, news, end, stops, or complete, or fulfill your wishes, because that's the nine of cups energy. Um, and uh, something to do with an opportunity or end something to start anew. So Spirit is saying end this to start anew or end the situation to start anew. Go towards what fulfills your wishes here. Something to do with a new opportunity because we have the one card energy. And of course, again, you don't have to take this advice if you don't want to. All right, so we see that the Knight of Wands is here. So it is, there's the passionate energy here. And for some of you, it could be somebody who is at a distance here with the ship card energy, or there's a lot of passionate energy here and uh, there's a sense of movement or change. So because of this passionate energy, there's some type of movement or change, but there is this sense of confusion here around the situation with the moon card energy because of something to do with a fresh start or new opportunity. So you're confused. Okay, can I have a fresh start or new opportunity? This person wants to hold on to you here with the four pentacles energy, but there is some delays, blockages, and challenges here. So coming back to the ship card, there's movement here. There's change here, right? Uh, towards a fresh start or new opportunity and there still seems to be some delays, blockages, or challenges here. This person possibly could be saying that they could be saying that this person has a lack of commitment here. 
uh, or there's confusions about whether or not there is going to be any commitment here, but this person wants to hold on to you. Or this could be saying, uh, there is this passionate energy here, but there's this sense of confusion of wanting to hold on to, to a situation or a person here with the four uh, pentacles energy, which is causing blockage delays or challenges here. And, 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 and the movement or change into a fresh start new opportunity is uh, why there's blockage delays or challenges. Let's just see what this Knight of Wands is about, first of all. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? This passionate energy or action towards passion is causing confusions because of wanting to hold on for success. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so it's uh, getting over some kind of hurt or pain of holding on to a situation and not being honest about things. Seven of Swords energy. Because something's not an equal give and take temperance card energy. And there's a sense that there's things that are being offered that are not being accepted, which is causing some stuck or stagnant energy here. Okay, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It's because of something to do with the past. Six of Cups energy. And some kind of risk or leap of faith here. And putting the work or effort into it. So because of this past energy, they're holding on. Someone is, you or this other person is holding on to something to do with the past. And this is causing some kind of risk when it comes to putting the work or effort into the situation. And this is causing the confusion with the moon card energy because of the fact that someone maybe is manipulating things or there is something to do with wanting an ideal situation with the magician card energy and something uh, to do with some kind of completion. And also since we see the ship card energy, foreign or travel, right? And we have the world card energy, which can represent travel or a foreign energy, right? Or a sense of wanting some kind of completion around this. Something needs to end to start anew. Something, somebody wants to accomplish something here when it comes to a reconciliation judgment card energy. Wow. This is a really strange reading, I think. I feel like it's a really, really strange reading. What's, what's this moon card about? It's a very strange reading. What is this moon card about? What's this moon card about? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Again, we're getting that Knight of Wands. So this can be saying somebody's being a player, okay? Or there's confusion, is this person being a player? Or there's a confusion of like, why is this person uh, trying to come at me passionately and hold on to the situation for pentacles because of something to do with true love? Is there true love here? Is there something secret here with the High Priestess card energy? Uh, when there's arguments and disputes about this potential passion, Ace of Wands energy, because it's something to do with the past. Wow, very strange, strange reading. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, and we see that there's actions being taken towards passions, and there's a sense of confusion, a sense of something hidden here because of moon card energy. And four is representing some kind of stability and stables or structuring things and organizing things in a certain way. The sense of travel or foreign or change in something to do with a fresh start or new opportunity or small delays and challenges with the, the mountain card energy. Very, very strange reading. Very strange. All right. Let's pray that the career and finances is, is not. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Let me know what's going on in the comments below. Okay. All right, let's move this out of the way, Sagittarius. Okay, so what's going on with my Sagittarius' career and finance for mid-October? What's going on with my Sagittarius' career and finance for mid-October? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so I'm going to pull six cards, and then the seventh card will be for advice. All right, so it looks like you guys are gaining the answers that you need here with the Ace of Swords energy. You're working together, right, with the Three of Pentacles energy, and you're taking a lot of fast actions here with the Knight of Swords energy. You are stressing, though, about these, this clarity or these answers because of a partnership or because of choices you have to make here with the heart. 
and this is uh, a sense of some challenges for you with the devil card energy now the devil can be bondage addiction depression or procrastination around the situation which is causing the stress so you're stressing about this and you're kind of procrastinating about this partnership or you're stressing about this and you're procrastinating about making a choice here because you're trying to gain the answers uh, you are working together there's a team environment for some of you or you're you're coming up with creative solutions here and you're kind of moving at things kind of fast here with the knight of swords energy or you need something cut away or cut out or there's abrupt decisions happening here um okay so let's take a look at the numerology so we see there's an opportunity and there's a creative solution because actions are being taken you're trying to fulfill your wishes here because of the choice here uh that is causing some challenges what's the advice okay so what you want to do is you want to look at your life experiences when it comes to this situation, okay? And you want to make a wise decision, a wise choice based on that life experience. And you're going to have to take a leadership role here with the King of Pentacles energy because it's about making wise choices and wise decisions based on the long term. So think about the long term when you think about Pentacles. Think about the solid things here, okay, when making this decision and taking this uh, leadership role here because that's what kings do. They take charge of things. And or... This King of Pentacles energy could help you with the situation, which could be, look for a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. All right, my darlings, now let's work on your health and wellness here. Bear with me for a second here while I clear this out of the way. Can I have some advice for my Sagittarius's health and wellness? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so in your situation, forgiveness heals. Somehow I feel this is stemming back to your romantic love life here. Um, and saying, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I really want, peace and health. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. And if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what's going on with you guys in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you guys, okay? Um, I will be seeing you soon and thank you to all my members. I'll see you in another day or two and enjoy the rest of your uh, 